Hey little cuties, Demi Bobemi here and welcome to another fashion related video. I was going to make this video like a whole thing, but once it came in the mail, I couldn't even be bothered to like make this a thing. So I got my swatch box and I am so excited. And I know that I mentioned it, I think, I don't know, in some video that I was going to be ordering swatches. Um, this came from South Korea. So I received my swatch box from swatchon.com, hashtag not spawn. As you can see, this is completely unopened. I have not seen what's inside yet. I wanted to do a complete unboxing and I don't know, maybe review them um, and kind of discuss with you the swatches that I like and dislike and what I think will work for the collection. Um, this is specifically for the collection design series that I'm doing, the like biker moto thing that I've got going on. So let's just like crack this baby open because like I'm too excited to be honest. Um, I haven't even cleaned off my desk. There's sewing stuff everywhere. It's a mess. Couldn't be bothered to fix it, to be honest. Okay, so what do we have in this box? Who knows? It's just swatches. Hmm. This doesn't. Never mind, it is as many swatches as I ordered. Okay, so how this kind of works is you go on to the swatchon.com and you can select up to 10 swatches, I believe, for a swatch box. And it costs $25 for the swatch box itself. And depending on if you're verified, like a verified brand or not, will depend if you pay shipping. Um, I paid shipping, so it was like, I don't know, like 30 bucks-ish maybe. I know that I paid like $55 total which sounds like a lot, but let me kind of explain to you how it's not a lot. So I was ordering swatches for a while from fabric.com and one swatch, granted they're significantly bigger than these ones, they're like this big, but they're like $2 a swatch or whatever and then you add shipping onto that and I don't know if they have any like special like spend over $50 and get free shipping. I don't know, but I know that the swatch box, even with the $30 shipping came out to be cheaper per individual swatch that I got from fabric.com. So, and then within each swatch, I know it sounds insane, but it comes with every single color that that textile comes in. So our first item is a ooh oh <gasps> okay this is interesting so as many of you probably know i have like these interesting okay let me just explain so this is like some f sportswear fishnet stuff it is 100 percent polyester its description is laminated spacer perforated um, it comes in two different, like, types. So we first have, let me see if I can show you guys a real nice, like, so it's like this really spongy type fabric. I don't even know how to, like, explain it. It's like double knit it feels spongy, like a sponge. Like that's the only way I can explain this. And it comes in white and black. And then there's also a second set that has this sort of fishnet pattern over it with that kind of spongy backing. Um, I don't know if you can like tell, it's pretty opaque for the most part. Like it's not as see-through as I wanted but it's really cool fabric and it would be really interesting to design something with this fabric. I like the information. It says not to disassemble the bundle. 
so that you can keep track of your product numbers, which is good to know because I probably would have torn those apart. <laughs> then we have a glossy metallic polyester that I wanted to use for the faux leather. And this is super cool. So it has this like really great snake skin pattern. This is the silver swatch that we have here. Um, the back of it just has kind of a mildly brushed appearance or brushed hand, I guess. Um, oh, that's actually, so this is gunmetal. Just kidding. This is like a, a black. And then this is the silver. They're very, very pretty. Um, I was kind of, this must be like a white, I'm guessing. And then just the straight up black. I was playing with the idea of maybe doing some metallics, but I don't know if this might be a little too much. They're really gorgeous though. I really, really love these. Then we have some tulle, I believe this is. It doesn't actually say, but I'm 100% sure this is like some stretch tulle. So this is very stretchy. And actually, I want to say this is perfect for the purpose. Sorry that like when I'm talking, it's blurry. I don't want to keep. Okay. So the purpose for this was going to be like the sheer like mesh tops and I really think that this is absolutely perfect it has um this sort of tan color here I imagine this is supposed to be like a nude kind of a tone um for some skin tones and then there's kind of like this lighter pale gray color there is also a like a blush pink there is white there's actually two shades of white one is like an ivory okay I disregard so as you can see I got all of these swatches all these different colors for like a dollar or something is what this came out to. So each packet is considered a swatch and then they give you all of the colors that that fabric comes in, which is cool. And then I'm actually going to keep this one to the side because this is honestly perfect. <laughs> then we have this fishnet fabric that is 90% polyester and 10% polyurethane. And it's like kind of perfect it has a lot of stretch to the side which is exactly what you need when you're going to be putting it around the leg and even i don't know it has like complete four-way oh shit it has four-way stretch which is really good um there's navy black olive kind of like a ivory tanish color and then another white Oh, I guess I just got two white ones. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep these bundles together, to be honest. I don't know. I might keep them together as much as possible, but I also might tear them apart. <laughs> so this is some tool. It is 100% polyester. It's supposed to be like this glossy metallic and it's pretty. It's really quite pretty. However, it's not stretchy enough for what I was hoping. I think the other one's going to do a lot better. And this is also a little too coarse. It's a little rougher than I would have liked. Um, it comes in like a million billion colors though. It literally comes in 13 different shades. There's like a gold black in here. Ooh, these are beautiful. Like I could use these for something else. Um, I don't know if you can see the sheen on this, but they're all very, very pretty, very nice sheen, very pretty colors. It is a little rough. 
And I don't imagine, even though it's kind of like a rougher looking collection, I don't imagine I want the fabric to feel like that. And then what do we have here? We have some denim. I am so excited. Okay. Um, ooh, this has a very interesting finish on it. So this is 97% cotton and 3% polyurethane. So um, it's pretty. I like the sheen that it has on it. Um, I don't... It has a little stretch to it, which is fine. Um, I probably should have looked at the fiber content of it, but um, I do like the finish on it. The only, I would definitely consider this for the collection. Um, the only issue that I feel I might have is it smells it has a, an odor and it's not bad necessarily, but it almost, and I don't know if I washed it, if it would change what it smells like, but it has like, um, that latex smell. If I'm being honest, um, I used to, when I was um, in high school, buy really, really cheap pants and they always had a lot of like nylon or spandex in them and they always smelled like rubber to me like after they would come out of the dryer they just reeked of rubber and I don't love that for my line <laughs> now we have another denim it's a hundred percent cotton which I love and it is a slub knit which is cool um I actually didn't realize it was a slub knit or slub weave I guess rather it's not a knit it's a woven fabric um this doesn't have any stretch to it which is fine and I'm totally cool with that because I imagine any of the denim pieces would be structured Ooh, I love the shades of denim these are all actually exactly what I wanted this is definitely a go and it's soft I like how it feels on my skin. The hand is great. Um, it doesn't, I mean, it's really stiff, so it doesn't need to drape very well because it's going to be structured anyway. This one swatch though, this is like so, it's soft and it's very drapey. Okay, I could go on for years about that denim. And then we have another metallic tool. This one is a little stretchier oh I don't like that a little bit of stretch made it run that's upsetting <laughs> um it's really pretty I like it I think that this will not work for what I need it to work for but it's really very pretty very metallic it's hand is great the drape is great I think on it um I mean it's like liquid almost like esque do you see what I'm saying here it's very pretty um it's just the stretch is not where I need it to be for this line okay and then here we have some more faux leather so this is also a metallic leather. Um, it's or shiny, maybe. I don't know. The black isn't really metallic. It's just like a shiny black, which is fine. I like that. Um, I like how soft the back is. Um, I don't think, I mean, everything's going to be lined, so I don't need it to be like soft on the skin necessarily. I mean, because the front is smooth, it's fine. Um, the back will never be exposed, but it's really soft. So these are really pretty. I can't quite imagine any of these fabrics working, but they're very pretty. Okay, and now I have this little swatch bundle here, which is a butt ton of faux suede. 
Um, this did say, if I'm not mistaken online, it was supposed to be like a reversible, like one side was supposed to be a faux leather and the other side was like a faux suede. If I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken, but I thought that's what this was. That's fine. Um, it is extremely smooth. I would say that the fabric feels buttery even. Um, it's very, very soft. And these colors are so good. I like that there's, oh my gosh, what do we have? 15 separate colors. This is kind of crazy. Um, yeah, these will definitely work hundred times over. They're very, very nice. There's even some gorgeous, like a midnight blue and sort of navy blue. And then we have like a super, super dark, like blue based black almost. Um, it seems a little lighter. Like I think it's just a super, super, super dark navy. Um, but these colors are absolutely gorgeous and it's really soft. So this is definitely a go for me. Um, so I will take you guys through all of the swatches that I'm definitely going to order. Um, I think I'm going to have to order another swatch box. However, the cool thing is I get to keep all of these swatches for later use. Um, and also something else that's like super duper cool about this kind of, I guess, not program, maybe a program, I don't know. But if for some reason they're out of a fabric that you ordered a swatch of, they will send you something very similar in its place so you don't just like miss out on a fabric. So they send you something they think that you would be interested in based on the type of that fabric. All right, guys, that's just kind of an overview of the swatches that I got for my collection. I'm probably going to order another swatch box because I would like to get some more faux leather options, even though like this is really cool. I'm wondering if maybe a matte would be better or if we had two options where there was like the super shiny leather and then there was a matte leather or maybe like a little less shiny and then I also need to get some stretchy uh kind of sportswear fabric for the bralettes that's something that I totally forgot to order anyway if you guys are interested um in seeing another swatch video let me know um I'm probably going to go more in depth in a separate video where I show you guys the illustrations. I think I'm gonna color in all of the illustrations for you and then show you the swatches that go with that illustration, if that makes sense. I am currently just an update on the collection design series, working on patterns. However, I forgot how long patterns take. So I might have a couple of filler fashion videos in between now and the pattern video. Just a heads up. Um, I'm sure there probably aren't a lot of people on the edge of their seats, but I figure maybe somebody wants to know. So that's that. I'm really excited to get these illustrations colored in and show you guys the swatches because I'm, I'm so excited. Again, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. I really super appreciate it. If you have, again, any comments, tips, tricks, or suggestions, um, anything you feel like I should know, or if you have any questions about this, I know I probably glossed over some stuff. Um, so just let me know if you have any questions. I would be more than happy to answer, or if you just have any comments or like whatever, just let me know. And I'll see you little cuties later. Bye.